Three, five, four, from Reverend one by one. Here we come. Three, five, four, from. I want you give them the fire, give them the best. Drop and go down low, just spell west. Give them the fire, give them the best. Drop and go down low, just spell. I want you give them the fire, give them the best. Drop and go down low, just spell west. Give them the fire, give them the best. Drop and go down low. Hi, GT family. So you're probably saying with Danny, you're the same host. Yes, guys, yes. Because you know why? We filmed double duty today just for you all, just to give you all a little something extra. So we're sitting here with one of our young upcoming artists, designer, athlete. I tell you, this guy does everything. This is <laughs> Seju. GT family, I'm introducing you all to Seju. Hi, Seju. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being with us here at Those Guys. Yeah, it's amazing. Those Guys Diner on the Avenue. Check them out. Seju, you're custom coming here. Um, well, I came here once and it so happened to be the same time I came here. It was around the same carnival time. Oh, it was after first it's a actually. carnival time thing. It's, uh, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> So what did you order? Can you remember what you ordered? Um yeah, some pancakes. The first time I came in here and you'd be like, yeah, this this is what I want, pancakes. Definitely. Where else can you get pancakes at whatever o'clock in the day? Different flavors. Only yeah. at those guys, different flavors. So right now we're sitting here and we're gonna dig in while we tap Sidious brain. So anything else you like like wanna try on the menu, Sidio? You take a look at the menu. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's your first thing I did, like flip it front, back, flip mm -hmm. it front, back. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I saw the burgers mm -hmm. and they look actually really interesting. The so burgers are good. Yeah. The burgers are really good. I can so imagine. You're a man you like to eat? Of course. Yes. Even though I look small, I like my belly. You can do that easy thing. What's your favorite food? Hmm, lasagna. Ravano? Yeah, lasagna. I know yeah. it's basic, eh? But yeah. No, it's not that. Right. It's just everything is, you know, coming here with doubles and provisions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, that's, that's traditional. You, you know? know? So well, you come in here all posh with lasagna, <laughs> guys. So can you make lasagna? Do you cook? Actually, you can say I can't even do my life cooking one. Macaroni pie, lasagna. Don't ask me to stew chicken, big chicken, nothing. Not. <laughs> you can't stew chicken, but you can make lasagna. Yeah, I can make a good lasagna actually. So ladies, you all hear that? So you need a woman to cook for me. Like that's a bunch of things, right? Lasagna, wine, So if you had to choose. Your perfect meal, perfect Sunday lunch, besides lasagna, so you can't say lasagna anymore. <laughs> Choose a meal. Hmm. Macaroni pie. Macaroni pie. Just Fried macaroni. rice. Mm -hmm. um, baked chicken. Mm -hmm. um, macaroni salad as well. How much Fresh salad. I love macaroni, so I mean, it's, it's Clearly. good. <laughs> Clearly, you love macaroni. Yeah. <laughs> so, besides food, all right, let, me, let me see. We're going over to the cutter's menu. Because you know, we Chinese, we like to fat, mm -hmm. and we always need some cutters. Favorite cutters? Hmm. That's a good question. You know. Anything along with fries, veggies, those things. Yeah. So, Sergio, it's a man of pasta and potatoes. <laughs> Wait till his heart, right? <laughs> so, um, I said designer, athlete, artist. Talk to me, designing. How did you get into okay. designing? Well, I started designing. Um, well, I started my brand initiative in 2012. Um, however, from ever since I was like seven years, um, I just started sketching. Mm -hmm. um, and while other kids were outside playing, I was more inside conceptualizing, you know, the person that I would become today. Right. You know, um, and I started the initiative by designing T-shirts at first, and I decided to take one step further into the actual fashion, mm -hmm. the clothing aspect of it. Right. Um, so I came up with my first female line, and then when I came up with my first female line, the guys were like, so what went to us? <laughs> so I was like, you know, let me, let me give the guys a try. And so far, um, not only locally, but regionally and internationally, um, I've been getting a lot of traction, a lot of booking requests. Um, later in April, I was supposed to be um, sponsoring an artist from the US. Right. You know, in terms Did of a brand endorsement. You could drop names? You could drop names? No, that's it. I oh. can't. <laughs> I try only, I try. We keep it a secret. We're not dropping names today, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, so far, the, the life of a designer is, that's my real life. It's an everyday thing. All right. So, how did you transfer from designer to artist? Like, what was that train of thought? What was that that's, road like? That's, that's a very good question because any, any creative individual would know it's very easy to move into one mm -hmm. platform to the other. Right. Um, however, I grew up amongst um, a family of 
different elements in terms of the creative art form. Right. You know, so I had like cousins who were singers, producers, dancers. So um, I can dance girls well enough, but that's that's not my forte. <laughs> don't, don't you do so? You know, but the in terms of the music, it came about um, based on just vibrant my cousin who's a producer big up to mr lion um out from new york and he would always call me facetime and be like how is this song and how is this song and play some bits for me and then we just spit lyrics and then from that i just started writing music and i was like wow look at this you know and then he was like you know what i think you should give it a shot i was like you think so and he's like i give it a shot and nice. here we are so what do you have for since 2018? For 2018, my first song um, for the Carnival 2018 season is called Revelin. Um, it's more or less like a Juve vibe song. Um, I would also class it as a power, but not really power as in like road march. Um, but something you could also jump up to. Um, and I have other songs in the pipeline in the making as well. Too. Right. Yeah. Sergio, thank you for being here with us. You Thank know, you so much for having me. See, enjoy your pancakes. So we're going to continue to come down. GT family, that's it for you guys. Y'all got to go because I'm about to eat. <laughs> see you next time, guys. Bye.